Hello everyone, welcome to Coding Decoded. My name is Anshu Tadeja. I am working as technical architect as the 4 at Adobe and here I present day 13th of June Lead Code Challenge, the problem that we have in today's triangle and this is based on the concept of dynamic programming. We will be solving this question by two approaches, one top down approach followed by bottom approach and we will go in step by step manner so that you guys get a good hold of the concept. Without further ado, let's quickly understand the question and then we will move on to the presentation where I will explain both these approaches. So here in this question we are given a 2D array in the form of a triangle and what we need to return, we need to return the minimum possible sum from top to bottom. And there is a constraint that is specified in the question that if you are at the ith index then you can only move in two directions, the, the element just below it or the element just to the right of it in the next row. So if you are at i, j index then from that particular cell either you can move, move in the next row at i plus 1 comma j or i plus 1 comma j plus 1 cell. So this is the crux of the problem remember these two statements and I will be explaining you this example as well as the algorithm to go about it by the VPT. So let's quickly hop on to it. Lead code 120 triangle and in case if you have any doubt understanding this question or if you want to ask anything from me in general with respect to placement jobs or internships feel free to drop a message on the telegram group or the discord server of coding decoded both the links are stated below now let's get started uh, i have taken the same example that was specified in the question we have the triangle as 2 3 4 6 5 7 4 1 8 3 what we need to do in this question we need to start a traversal from the topmost row topmost cell and we need to move at any cell in the last row so it could be any cell in this last row and that would be the terminal state what we need to do we need to identify that particular path that leads to leads to minimum sum and here in this example that path would be 2 3 5 and 1 let's calculate the total sum of this path this turns out to be 2 plus 3 is 5 5 plus 5 is 10 10 plus 1 is 11 which is in sync with our expectation now how are we making a decision to travel to which particular cell as per the question for this particular cell there are two options to go either the immediate lower one or to the next of it so 3 and 4 are the two possibilities for 3 6 and 5 are two possibilities for 6 4 and 1 is two, are two possibilities for 5 1 and 8 are two possibilities for 7 8 and 3 are two possibilities for 4 5 and 7 are two possibilities we will be doing the simple dfs reversal and we need to identify the minimum of two values the first one is the DFS of R plus 1 comma C we are moving in the next row and the column remains the same or the DFS of next row next column the immediate right one DFS of R plus 1 comma C plus 1 and once we have this information what we will do we will identify the minimum of these two and we will add it to triangle at row uh, comma column index R comma C and the total of these two would be set to equal to DP of row comma column for that particular cell. And once we have appropriately built this array, we will be simply returning the final output that comes out of the traversal. Pretty simple and straightforward. Uh, we have done plenty of questions in the past and we will be incorporating memoization to it so that the time complexity reduces. But this is not the optimized or the best possible approach. I have something better than this which is the bottom up approach. So let's start the iteration and while iterating we will get the good hold of the concept. We will be starting from the bottommost row to the topmost row something along this direction and let's see to what all cells will 4 contribute to. 4, four will all, all only contribute to this particular cell. So let's write 4 over here and let's write the same thing for 1. So 1 will contribute to this cell or this cell. Let's write it for 8 as well. So where will 8 contribute to either here or here. Where will four con 3 contribute to C will contribute to only here. Now let's process this entire uh, row up we will be choosing the minimum of 4 comma 1 and we will be adding to the current triangle value. So what is the minimum of 4 comma 1? Minimum of 4 comma 1 is 1. So 1 gets selected. 1 plus 6 is 7. So let's update it to 7. So this gets updated to 7. What is the minimum of 1 and 8? It is 1. So 1 plus 5 is 6. So let's, let's update this to 6. What is the minimum of 8 and 3? 8 and 3 minimum is 3. So let's update this node value to 7 plus 3 which is 10 so this gets updated to 10 so we have selected the minimum out of these two and let's do the same thing again let me just change the color of pen 
and uh, we have seven and seven will be contributing to this particular cell six will be contributing to this particular cell or this particular cell and 10 will be contributing to this particular cell let's do the same thing again let's choose the minimum out of these two six is the minimum one so six plus three is nine so this gets updated to nine six plus six comma ten the minimum of these two is six so uh, six plus four gives you ten so this gets updated to ten now let's do the same thing let me just change the color of pen and uh, there are two possible values that we that should be considered for this particular cell either 9 or 10 which one is the lower one 9 is the lower one 9 plus 2 is 11 and this becomes the final answer so whatever value gets set at the topmost cell becomes your final answer and this is what we will be doing in the coding section and this is a bottom up approach that i have just talked about so let's quickly hop onto the code and conclude it up here I have created my DBRA and I'll be walking you through the top down approach followed by the bottom up one and by default as an initialization case I have filled my DBRA entirely with integer or max value then I have written the recursion method which basically accepts four parameters the triangle the starting row and the starting column and the DBRA for memoization so let's walk through it if my row is happens to be equal to triangle dot size that means it's the last row uh, then that simply means uh, my iteration is complete and I return back otherwise I go and check if my dp for that particular row and column was previously calculated in the path and it's not equal to integer and max value i simply return the answer from there and then itself otherwise i go and identify the minimum uh, one minimum answer out of recurse of triangle comma row plus one column comma dp and the other possible is, option is triangle row plus one column plus one comma dp whatever value i extract as a minimum one i add it to the triangle at row comma column index and i set it to dp of row comma column i simply return back there uh, return back as the uh, as an integer that has to be returned from the helper method so let's try this up first accepted 93 percent faster which is pretty good and let's walk through the bottom of approach now and let's comment it up here it's again really simple i've created a dbra and i start the traversal from the last row to the first row and with each iteration what all possibilities do i have minimum of dp of j comma dp of j plus one the minimum of these two and this gets added to triangle at i comma j index and whatever value comes at the output gets set at dp of j in the end we simply return dp at the zeroth index so let's try and submit this up again accepted uh, this is the bottom up approach that was a top down approach and with this let's conclude today's session i hope you enjoyed it if you did then please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel thanks for being it have a great day ahead and stay tuned for more updates from coding decoded i'll see you tomorrow with another fresh question